students. In previous lecture, we have seen the dehydration of the alcohols. Now, after this, come to that the next chemical reaction of the alcohol and it is the oxidation of the alcohols. Next is the oxidation of alcohols. And this reaction is a distinguishing test between the primary, secondary and the tertiary alcohols. So, the distinguishing test, distinguishing test of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. Oxidation and that we know very well. Oxidation means the addition of oxygen, and it's a, another term means a removal of hydrogen is also that is the oxidation. Now here, this test or this reaction is a distinguishing between the primary, secondary, and the tertiary alcohols. Now, in this oxidation of the alcohols here. The alcohols gets oxidized by the different oxidizing agents and which are the oxidizing agents? For example, that is the acidified potassium dichromate, then alkaline that is the KMnO4, potassium magne, alkaline KMnO4, potassium or magne, then dilute nitric acid, then next is the chromic acid, then, so these are the different oxidizing agents and by using these that the oxidizing agents we can oxidize here alcohols and to give that the products and in this reaction the products of the these reactions are the carboxylic acids here but actually that to weigh that the carboxylic acid here that the different roots are here and therefore actually here it is known as the distinguishing test between the primary, secondary and the tertiary alcohols here. Okay. And here the order of reactivity of this reaction is the primary alcohols is greater than the secondary alcohol and secondary alcohol is greater than the tertiary alcohols. But in yesterday that the reaction in the dehydration of the alcohols, the order of reactivity of the alcohol is the opposite one and that should be the tertiary alcohol is greater than the secondary alcohols and secondary alcohols is greater than the primary alcohols. But it is here the primary alcohols is greater than the secondary alcohol, secondary alcohols is greater than the tertiary alcohols here. Means here that the oxidation of the alcohols depends upon that whether the alcohol should be here primary, secondary or the tertiary here. Okay. So this is all about that the this headline here, oxidation of that is the alcohols here. Now, just uh, I will uh, here write uh, one example, one reaction here to form that is the oxidizing agents. And in these reactions, which just I have stated that here in this reaction that the different that the oxidizing agents are used. And the main important point in these reactions are that these oxidizing agents produce the nascent oxidizing here nascent oxygen atom and that nascent oxy oxygen atom is used for the oxidation of these alcohols here. So here one example I would like to tell here that suppose here that the K2SO4 uh, here that the H2SO4 and the K2Cr2O7 K2Cr2O7 is the potassium dichromate here and it is in the acidic form means when react with the H2SO4 sulfuric acid in the dilute medium then what happens here from the potassium dichromate here the K2 and from the sulfate here sulfuric acid sulfate K2SO4 is formed and it is known as the potassium sulfate 
then from this potassium dichromate Cr2 and Cr2 and from the sulfate group is left here for the 3 times here so SO4 3 times here chromic sulfate is formed then here that 4 H2 and that the oxygen atom to form that the 4 H2O is formed now what is the remain part in this reaction here that only the oxygen atoms are remained here and these oxygen atoms are formed in here 3 times here so if this, this is the balanced chemical reaction between the potassium dichromate and the sulfuric acid means from this reaction only that the important point is that when the potassium dichromate reacts with the H2SO4 to form that is the nascent oxygen atom and this nascent oxygen atom is used for the oxidation of the alcohols here ok so here I will take here that the alcohols and these alcohols are the primary, secondary and the tertiary as a separately here ok because to know this reaction is that is the distinguishing test here ok so just here I will take here first of all primary alcohols here primary alcohols now primary alcohols are represented by the RCH2H that you know as well here but directly I will take here that the, as the alcohol and the alcohol is here that the CH3OH and name of the alcohol is that is the methyl alcohol here methyl alcohol now this methyl alcohol on oxidation here means it reacts with the this nascent oxygen atom here ok now this oxygen atom is prepared from the potassium dichromate K2Cr2 O7 and the dilute H2SO4 here H2SO4 now first of all what happens here from this reaction that the H2 molecule gets removed here <coughs> while starting the oxidation of the alcohols here I have told you that the definition of the oxidation of addition of oxygen is the oxidation whereas the removal of hydrogen is also that is the oxidation means from this reaction here that the hydrogen gets removed here so here HCHO is left here HCH the one bond O is remain here and this is nothing but that the formaldehyde here now in this reaction if suppose that the HCH is the formaldehyde then the hydrogen is hydrogen atom and the oxygen atom to form the water molecule means I think this is the oxidation of that is the methyl alcohol and to form the formaldehyde now this should be the first step here now in second step I will take here that again that the formaldehyde here ok formaldehyde and this formaldehyde on further oxidation further oxidation with the same this potassium dichromate and the H2SO4 and to form HCOOH and it is nothing but that is the formic acid formic acid means in this reaction the addition of the oxygen atom takes place means it is the oxidation of the formaldehyde takes place here and to form the formic acid so in this way here that the carboxylic acids are the final products in this all reaction here and this is the one example here now actually in this reaction what happened here methyl alcohol on oxidation with the potassium dichromate and the dilute H2SO4 to form first of all aldehyde and that aldehyde is the formaldehyde and formaldehyde on further oxidation to form the formic acid ok so this methyl alcohol should be here that the primary alcohol now I will take here that the second example in the same reaction just I will do here that the the change for time being here to save all that the time here so next example is that the CH3CH2OH so name of the alcohol is the ethyl alcohol here ok now this ethyl alcohol on oxidation is the acidified K2Cr2O7 to form here CH3CH3CHO and the HO the name of the again is the acetal aldehyde acetal aldehyde ok now in the second step here this acetal aldehyde on 
further oxidation acetaldehyde on further oxidation to form CH3COOH and it is nothing but the acetic acid acetic acid okay understood so these are the two examples here now you can take that the number of examples here okay so again I will take here that the one example from this primary over here and again I will do change in this reaction okay so CS3 CH2 CH2OH as the three carbon atoms are present therefore the alkyl group will be their profile and therefore the name of the alcohol is the N profile alcohol now this N profile alcohol on oxidation with acidified K2CrO7 to form here CS3 CH2 CHO and the name of the aldehyde is the propiona aldehyde propiona aldehyde okay now this propiona aldehyde on further oxidation in second step CS3 CH2 CHO propiona aldehyde here propiona aldehyde okay on further oxidation to form CS3 CH2 COOH and name of the acid is the propionic acid here or propionic acid propionic or propionic both you can take here ok and it is the common name another is that is the IUP acid so the name that I have written is a common name whereas the propionic P-R-O-P-A-N-O-I-C propionic acid is the IUP acid so in this this reaction takes place in this manner when N propyl alcohol uh, on oxidation with acidified K2CrO7 to form propion aldehyde and propion aldehyde on further oxidation to form the propionic acid. So these are the examples of that in the primary alcohols here. Now here the important point is here that here the alcohol contains the alcohol contains the number of carbon atoms that remains as it is in the carboxylic acid now just again here that uh, just we will go in details here here as the n profile of the it contains as the three carbon atoms then from this n profile of the, the aldehyde form the propion aldehyde that also contains at the same number of carbon atoms okay so it contains also three carbon atoms then that same propion aldehyde I have taken here and on the here this propion aldehyde oxidation to form that finally propionic acid and this propionic acid also contain the same number of carbon atoms okay so this should be the here primary alcohols now come towards that the secondary alcohols here now secondary alcohols now I think the representation of the secondary alcohol is the RCHOHR but here to know very well here I will directly again take here that as an example of the alcohol and it should be the here ISO profile alcohol here CS3, CHOH and the CS3 it is the ISO profile alcohol or it's another name in the secondary profile alcohol or it's a IOPS name is the propan 2 oil now this isopropyl alcohol on oxidation here on oxidation obviously with the potassium dichromate and the H2SO4 here H2SO4 ok so first of all here to form CS3 C double bond O CS3 here and water molecule gets eliminated here Okay, CS3, C, O, CS3. So this hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom, and this oxygen atom to form that in the water molecule. Okay, so this should be the first step here. Now in the second step here, this CS3, C double bond O CS3 acetone on further oxidation here. Acetone on further oxidation. Acidified K2CrO7 and to form 
the carboxylic acid. But to here that the balance here, I will take here that the oxygen atom for the four times here, and to for here which carboxylic acid is here? The CS3, CO, O, O, and from the H3 here that one hydrogen atom. So to form CS3, COOH here. It is the acetic acid. Acetic acid. Or it's a IOPH name the ethanoic acid. Okay. Now here the from this H3 here that the two hydrogen atoms are in it. So two hydrogen atoms and the one oxygen atom to form the H2 here. And one more byproduct in this reaction. From this CS3, one carbon atom and here that the two oxygen atoms are remaining here and to form CO2, carbon dioxide. See here, check the here that the, this reaction, rea this reaction contains four oxygen atom and this one is the five oxygen atom. Now see here in the product also, this in the CO2, two, then from the water, one, this three, four and the five oxygen atoms are present. And the carbon atoms, one, two, three. 1, 2, 3 hydrogen atoms, 3 and 3, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6 hydrogen atoms are present. So, in this way, the reaction gets a balance here. Now, in this reaction, what happened? Here, isopropyl alcohol on oxidation with acidified KOGR207 to form, first of all, acetone here. And this acetone on further oxidation to form the acetic acid. Okay, understood? So, here the difference is here that when primary alcohols on oxidation to form first of all RDA is here, but whereas the secondary alcohols on oxidation to form first of all ketones here, and the second step in the second step that RDA is on oxidation means the carboxylic acid, whereas here the ketones on oxidation means that is the carboxylic acid means that is the in this reaction acetic acid is formed here okay now here i will take here that another example here that and the example is that is here now cs3 cs3 ch oh ch2 and the CS3. Name of the alcohol is the secondary butyl alcohol. Now, this secondary butyl alcohol on oxidation with same acidified K2Cr2O7. Acidified K2Cr2O7. Now, to form first of all, here CS3. C double bond O CH2 and CS3 plus H2 here. Name of the ketone here is the ethyl methyl ketone here. Now why it is the ethyl methyl ketone? Because the C, CH2 CS3 is the ethyl group and CS3 is the methyl group. And these two alkyl groups are attached to the C double bond O carbonyl group here. Therefore, it is the ethyl methyl ketone here. Okay. Now, this ethyl methyl ketone, CS3, CH, CS3, C double bond O, CH2, and the CS3, this ethyl methyl ketone on further oxidation, on further oxidation with acidified K2CR2O4. Now, to form Definitely that the carboxylic acid, but which carboxylic acid we will form here that we will discuss here. Now, here, first of all, I will write here that actually the carboxylic acid and it is the acetic acid here. Acetic acid, then formic acid, HCOH, formic acid, next that is the byproduct of the CO2 and the H2. Now this should be the here complete reaction. But see here that how this reaction takes place here. Now here, when the secondary butyl alcohol on oxidation to form the ethyl methyl ketone here. Now 
when this ethyl ethyl ketone on further oxidation to form the acetic acid here now here the why this acetic acid is formed here because here that the ethyl ethyl ketone contain that the two alkyl group that alkyl groups are the methyl and the ethyl group and that are attached to the c double bond group so during oxidation of this ethyl ethyl ketone here that always the smaller alkyl group uh, remains with the carbonyl group here and actually this is the pops rule here means according to pops rule here that the oxidation of the unsymmetrical or unsymmetrical ketone takes place here and in this unsymmetrical ketone or the ethyl ethyl ketone smaller alkyl group is the here cst here means while oxidation of this ethyl ethyl ketone here the this carbon carbon bond gets uh, ruptured here and the here the carbonyl group remains with the this smaller alkyl group as here that the cst only one carbon atom or the carbon atom is present here therefore it is the lower alkyl alkyl group and here this alkyl group contains the two carbon atom therefore in comparison with this cs3 it is the higher alkyl group so, so in this way here this lower alkyl group always remains with the here that the carbonyl group and to form the acetic acid as a major product now here the major and the minor these two words are very important in the reactions here because here in this reaction that acetic acid and the carbonic acid both are the carboxylic acid but according to this pops rule here according to pops p o p double at s according to this pops rule here this acetic acid is the major product and from the remaining part here that the formic acid is formed here and the by products are the carbon dioxide and the H2 here okay actually just only we will see here that the oxygen atoms whether they are gets balanced or not balanced here now in the reactant side six oxygen atom and this one is the seventh oxygen atom just you have to see here that these two to four here six and the seven oxygen atoms are there therefore the reaction gets here that the balanced here now no need to balance here that by carbon and the hydrogen here okay so this should be the your secondary alcohols here now see here one more important point from this reaction that here as already i have told you that here the aldehydes on oxidation uh, sorry primary alcohols on oxidation use the first of all aldehydes here and aldehydes on oxidation use the carboxylic acid whereas the secondary alcohols on oxidation use the ketones and ketones on oxidation use the carboxylic acid okay then come to now and one more point is here that here the secondary alcohol for example that isopropyl alcohol contains here that the here how many carbon atoms three carbon atoms here okay on oxidation to form here the acetone it also contains that the three carbon atoms now this same acetone i have written here okay but on here on oxidation of this acetone to form the acetic acid and it contains that the two carbon atoms means here that the number of carbon atoms in the carboxylic acid acid gets decreased by one than the uh, here that is the secondary alcohol here but whereas the primary alcohol that the contains same number of carbon atoms than here carboxylic acid okay so this is the one distribution point then after that come to our that the last point that is the oxidation of the tertiary alcohols here now tertiary alcohols can be represented by the r3coh according to the general formula but i will take here that the example here cs3 here c cs3 here oh and cs3 here so this is the tertiary butyl alcohol here tertiary butyl alcohol here now here the oxidation of this alcohol takes place here and 
the oxidation is like this here in presence of K2Cr2 O7 and dilute H2SO means acidified K2Cr2 O7 ok now here what happened here tertiary butyl alcohol it does not undergo directly here that the oxidation here why because here that the OH hydroxyl group is directly attached to the here carbon carbon means as in a tertiary alcohol it is a very difficult of the oxidation here whereas the primary in the primary alcohols that the OH hydroxyl group is attached to the carbon atom and that carbon atom contains the hydrogen atoms ok see here again I will repeat this point here in the primary alcohol the OH hydroxyl group is attached to that carbon atom that carbon atom contains the hydrogen atom ok therefore here the oxidation gets easier here ok whereas in the secondary alcohols also the OH hydroxyl group is gets attached to the, that carbon atom that carbon atom contains the hydrogen atom therefore secondary alcohols oxidation is also that is the gets easier one whereas the in the tertiary alcohol that the, there is a absence of the alpha hydrogen atom on this carbon atom here means here this carbon this carbon atom is attached to the means so, uh, in the another way here that the OH hydroxyl group is attached to that carbon atom that carbon atom do not contain the hydrogen atom on this carbon atom here that here the alkyl groups are present here ok therefore here its oxidation is very difficult here as here that the breaking of the carbon carbon bond is not here that the easier one therefore here tertiary butyl alcohol it undergoes the dehydration here and here the product in this reaction is the alkene here and the product is like here alkene CH3 C CH3 double bond CH2 here and the H2 dehydration takes place here means here this OH group here this OH group and from this CH3 here that one hydrogen H and the OH to form that is the H2 here. Now here no, no need to take here that the oxygen atom. Okay. So here H2 is formed here. It is the isobutylene. It is isobutylene. Now it is the first step here. Now in the second step, CS3, C C S3, double bond C H2. Isobutylene on oxidation here with same acidified K2Cr2O7 here. Okay. Oxidation to form CS3 C CS3 double bond O and name of this product is the acetone here. Acetone. CS3, C, CS3 from this oxygen atom, one oxygen atom to form the acetone here. Now here three hydrogen atoms are remain. In from that three hydrogen atoms, two uh, from that uh, three uh, sorry, three oxygen atoms here that the one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms to form that the H2 and the, this one carbon atom and remain two oxygen atoms to form the CO2 carbon dioxide. Okay, and here the last step in the structure is structure of the this CS3 CCS3 double bond O acetone when it reacts with oxygen atom it further oxidation on further oxidation with acidified K2Cr2 7 to form CS3 COOH and it is nothing but that acetic acid acetic acid plus here H2O and CO2 carbon dioxide so in this
which we hear that the final products are the carbonic acid. Means in all this reaction that the final product is here carbonic acid. But here that the way to obtain here that acetic acid is the different point here. Now here in this reaction that actually butyl alcohol it undergoes dehydration to form first of all alkyl and alkyl on oxidation to form the acetone and acetone on further oxidation to form that is the here that the acetic acid here. Okay. Now here, see here this tertiary butyl alcohol uh, number of about that the number of carbonates. This tertiary butyl alcohol contain that the four carbonates here. Okay. Then the iso from this isobutyl uh, tertiary butyl alcohol the isobutyl form actually that also contains the four carbonates. Then this is also that the isobutyl it contains four carbonates. Now here this. Isobutyl on oxidation to give the acetone. It contains at the three carbon atoms and one carbon atom is in the CO2 here by product here. Now this acetone on further oxidation to form at the acetic acid and it contains at the two carbon atoms and one carbon atom is in the by product here. Means here that the product obtained in the tertiary alcohol it that the contains Two carbon atoms less than the alcohols here. Okay, so in this way, here this is the distinguishing test. Now again, I would like to highlight this reaction. Why this is the distinguishing test here? Okay, of course it is the oxidation that you know, but why it is the distinguishing test here? Means here that <coughs> primary alcohols on oxidation use first of all aldehydes. Okay, and aldehydes use on oxidation use the carboxylic acid. So this is the different part that specially I would like to mention here. So primary alcohols primary alcohols use first aldehydes here. Aldehydes. Okay. And aldehydes on oxidation use the carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Okay. Then, in the second case, secondary alcohols on oxidation gives the ketones. Gives ketones and ketones on oxidation gives carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Okay. And last one, that is the tertiary alcohols. On oxidation, use here first of all it undergoes dehydration, means it gives here that the alkenes and alkenes on oxidation use the here ketones and ketones on oxidation use finally carboxylic acid. So, this is the difference between these three oxidations here of the primary, secondary and the tertiary alcohols. That's why it is a distinguishing test between the primary and primary, secondary and the tertiary alcohols. And of course that one point I have told you that about that the carbon atoms. So primary alcohols contain that the same number of carbon atoms in the carboxylic acid. Secondary alcohol contains uh, secondary alcohol uh, here. The, in secondary alcohol that the carboxylic acid contains one carbon atom is that the secondary alcohols and in tertiary alcohols the carboxylic acid contains two carbon atoms less than the tertiary alcohols here. Okay, so this is the distinguishing test. And on this distinguishing test, the question may ask exams are uh, <coughs> like the, particularly in the old exam, give the distinguishing test between the primary, secondary, and the tertiary alcohols for the three marks or the another question is like this what is the action of the acidified potassium dichromate on ethyl alcohol on number one ethyl alcohol number two on the isopropyl alcohol and number three tertiary butyl alcohol okay so this is the question here and in objective also exams also that the question may ask on this reaction here 
and here is uh, here sorry here the primary alcohols on oxidation gives that dash that is the product here gives the aldehydes okay or the secondary alcohols on oxidation gives that dash products gives that is the ketones in this way that the questions may ask in your exam okay so this is the here distinguishing test between that is the alcohols of primary secondary and tertiary okay so after this that the two more reactions are remain from the these alcohols okay Okay. Let's stop.